Less than six hours ago, Google added the word pro to Nano Banana for a very good reason. I happen to think Nano Banana Pro, their new text-to-image model, will come to be seen as the first image model that will be used regularly by professionals as well as enthusiasts. I don't cover image gen models often on this channel, but I was actually shocked by the quality. And yes, I use that word advisedly as well as very rarely. Anyway, in this video, I will try to show you why with 10 insights you might not have gotten just from scrolling through cool examples on Insta or X or wherever. Starting quite frankly with this one because Damn, son, that is amazing. All I asked of Nano Banana Pro was give me Rake's Progress by William Hogarth, but set in 2025. The Rake's Progress are a set of 18th century paintings, copies of which I had by my bed as a child. They chart the rise and fall of the eponymous Rake, the wayward young man. But just in case you can't see the image clearly, look at a few of these panels. This guy gets rich, just like in the original set of paintings. Here, presumably via Doge coin, but look at the monster energy drinks, the fact that he used to work for Deliveroo, he used to get deals for therapeutic ketamine, but he followed the adage hodl till you die and got rich. Clearly he then bought NFTs, tried a bit of life extension, or in other words tried not to die. Just like in the original paintings though, people are already starting to gossip as you can see. I'd have been pretty impressed just by one of these being the image. He gets into some debauchery and then there's a margin call, then in the original he goes goes to a debtor's prison and I've actually been to that location in London but here the prison is the gig economy. You may notice in the background it says he's an exhausted OnlyFans creator still working apparently for Deliveroo with the same 24 hours as Elon. Notice also the eviction notice from Megacorp Housing Solutions. Finally just like the original he ends up in Bedlam or the Madhouse in this case, a dopamine ward. While a few of us might get focused on the tiny smudges or details that aren't quite perfect, looked at as a whole, I think that's just incredible. Many of you may not have been following image gen models that closely, but here is the original Nano Banana, not Nano Banana Pro. This is Gemini 2.5 Flash Image and its equivalent attempt. There's definitely something here, but the difference is stark. See Dream 4.0, a Chinese model does better. So you might think, well, is Nano Banana that much of a watershed then? If Sea Dream can do this, is it really a qualitative step forward? By the end of this video, I think you might agree with me that it is. I asked for a close up of a topographic map of London, but the map is made entirely of embroidered felt and yarn. Looks great visually, but it'd be pretty hard to say that's London. The equivalent image from Nano Banana Pro is genuinely impressive. If I saw this as a print on the wall of a restaurant, I would probably make a remark about it being like, that's cool. Indeed, I hope human art is labeled as such sooner rather than later so I can appreciate human effort even more. Now for the second detail you might have missed, which is that Nano Banana Pro utilize live search to generate its images. The score you can see cast onto the shard was the real result on the right date. One tiny quibble which I will come back to is the fact that the London in the background isn't quite perfect but for now that's just a quibble. Fair's fair to Sea Dream, it doesn't have such grounding with search, so inevitably hallucinates. Only because I had early access to Nano Banana can I assure you that the best examples are yet to come. Take a third feature you might easily miss, which is double exposure. I took these three characters, Goku, SpongeBob, and Squirtle and asked for a professional IMAX double exposure action movie poster using these three characters. The result? Well, speaks for itself. It's not just that it did a nice double exposure with one world captured inside of another. It also took the original characters and had them engaging with each other in an intelligent way. Goku doing one of his attacks and SpongeBob fighting back. Squirtle, of course, enjoying his water theme. I used the exact same prompt and input for Sea Dream 4, which I honestly regarded as the best image gen model up until this morning. And this was the result. Here, by the way, was the result 
result from the original Nano Banana. Trying to add a dash of balance, I would note that the price for Gemini 3 Pro Image Preview, which is the official name, is much higher than that of Nano Banana. The highest resolution, it's maybe seven or eight times more expensive, even though for the normal resolution, you're talking three or four times more expensive. It also takes longer to generate, but you might have guessed that. While we are on price though, I do have to note that the comparable model from OpenAI at high resolution is still more expensive than Nano Banana Pro. For sure, we're all cognizant that GPT Image 2 is likely on its way, but for now, that pricing and quality differential does exist. Because the best is yet to come, I can afford to give you two details of where Nano Banana Pro still falls short. For over an hour, I tried to make the thumbnail of this video a bit more exciting than the one you clicked on, but it just can't really come up with fonts. I shouldn't say can't because I'm sure you guys are going to spam in the comments examples of where it could do so, but I would just say it struggled with my attempts and I tried multiple conversations and even gave it suggestions after it produced something suboptimal. I also experienced more refusals for certain prompts, which I thought were pretty innocuous. It seems like like with people involved, it's more hesitant, even than Nano Banana, which proceeded with this prompt. All I wanted was the words Claude Hacks stretched out between his hands multiple times in multiple windows, and it just wouldn't do it. I guess with great power comes great responsibility. So I actually kind of get them dialing up the refusals. Actually, now we're on safety, it seems like a good time to bring up their new Synth ID watermarking that can be used directly in the Gemini app. Basically, anyone can now place an image in the Gemini app and ask if it's watermarked. In other words, ask if it was made by Nano Banana Pro. You may or may not be aware that Gemini 3 Pro, the text model that my last video was about, also watermarks its text output. I just want to take a quick moment to tell you about a recent development that is linked to a different modality, speech to text. It comes from the longtime sponsors of this channel, Assembly AI, and their new multilingual universal streaming. Now, alas, I only speak English and a little bit of Mandarin, but if you speak German, Spanish, French, Italian, for example, try multi on their universal streaming playground. As I have demoed before on the channel, the transcribing within universal streaming is frankly astonishing in its accuracy and speed, and also in its price, for which I'm going to have to go back to the other tab. Because as assembly say, all languages are priced equally at 15 cents per hour. If you are curious, just click on the custom link at the top of the description of this video. The sixth detail concerns infographics, and I'm sure many other people are talking about this. But yes, the detail is truly incredible. It's not just that the dates are broadly accurate, but look at the black smudges as a great style showing how the disease spread. It is very clearly a huge step up from the original Nano Banana, and an even bigger step up in terms of historical accuracy from Sea Dream 4.0. Seems to have started in Calais, this Black Death. But here's where we get to a slight problem with Nano Banana, and something I want to caution everyone with. It's so good, you might be tempted to just take its output, say that looks amazing and put it out there. I know not you guys, but still tens of millions of people will just take an output like this and say, yep, good enough going to print this for work or for my company or for my own business. Now, you may not be able to see this, but it's not just the fact that there are a few unlabeled black dots in Italy where Pisa doesn't seem to be quite correctly labeled. We could maybe look past that. But it's also the fact that there's this word spared beneath Paris. Feel free to correct me in the comments, but according to all of my research, neither Paris nor Southern France or Central France was spared. You could say it was slightly less affected than other areas, but it definitely wasn't spared. So if you just use an infographic from Nano Banana Pro without checking it, you may get into trouble, especially I think because it's so good overall. The biggest danger, and I think this is the same for language models, is when they are 97, 98, 99% accurate. When they're 80% accurate, pretty much everyone checks it. But will you continue to check it when it's 99.3% accurate? Time for the next detail you may have missed, because the intelligence of the model isn't just its ability to ground with search or render text with greater fidelity. It's 
also much more subject aware when it comes to the placements of your characters, your objects within a wider image. I gave Nano Banana Pro that hedgehog and this lovely photo of I think Rye in Sussex and the prompt place the hedgehog into this scene, keep the lighting realistic, add a man in the doorway looking down at the hedgehog. And it did so pretty much as I'd have imagined in my head. You could maybe quibble that the man isn't staring directly at the hedgehog, but that's a pretty decent image. Compare that to the original Nano Banana from just a few months ago when it was state of the art and the difference is stark. Sea Dream, I would say, is somewhere in the middle. A really good attempt, just not quite as closely mirroring the original setting. Maybe you like it better though. Right, now it is time to drop the metaphorical A-bomb, which is possibly the most impressive example of them all. Well, you could say the Rake's Progress one is the best, actually, yeah, that probably is the best, but this one has got to be second. A mouse character I think I generated with Mid Journey in 2023. I gave Nano Banana Pro the prompt, create a comic book strip in four pieces with this character having a comical encounter with a turtle, include speech bubbles, maintain character slash stylistic consistency. And this was the result. Notice how my original character generation stays pretty consistent throughout the images, keeps the satchel and only loses the arrows right at the end, but you could say it maybe placed it on the floor. It might not be laugh out loud funny, but the punchline that the turtle is adventuring inside is in character. It's a grumpy turtle that doesn't really want to interact. By the way, for those thinking that EGAD is a typo, no, it's slang, I think meaning like, for God's sake. And speaking of EGAD and good morrow, the language of the rabbit is quite consistent, quite archaic British, you might say. If I asked Nano Banana Pro, give me another four strip comic for these characters, maintaining their distinct voices and personalities and appearances, but this time set on a galleon at sea, Boom, we have this comic. Again, the turtle is grumpy. Again, we've got that slang, gadzooks, which is archaic slang for God's hooks, kind of like a curse word from the Middle Ages. Now, for sure, this might need a tiny bit of editing, like what happens to the captain's hat. Why does the rabbit keep losing its arrows in the final panel? But still, the synergy that occurs when a model can output text reliably and has a strong degree of intelligence baked in is really something to marvel at. Even turtle steps forward along either axis of accuracy and underlying intelligence has huge knock-on effects. Or to put it another way, I wouldn't call this model twice as useful as Nano Banana, but maybe four times as useful. As you'd expect, I'm gonna re-emphasize that there are limits to the number of layers, how meta the model can go. I asked it to create an image where there will be eight different layers where we see through eight different pieces of technology. In my head, I envisioned a 1950s black and white TV on which we can see a color TV on which we can see etc etc all the way up to a VR headset for example. It got the idea but there's not quite eight layers. Give that same prompt to a talented human artist and the result from the human would be unbelievably better, I would imagine. Okay, this next one is a bonus one. It doesn't count in the 10 I think I came up with, but the model doesn't suffer from the glazing effects that Grok apparently does. You may have seen some recent threads where people ask Grok about the CEO behind XAI and it compliments him massively. Give Nano Banana Pro the prompt Draw a podium with the best three AI companies. No context on what best means here, but one in each position on the podium, the winner being handed a trophy saying AGI. It clearly picks Sam Altman as the winning CEO. With its CEO, although technically I think the CEO of Google DeepMind is Demis Hassabis, and it does kind of look like a mix between Pichai and Hassabis, but that aside, Google's CEO is second, Anthropic and Dario Amade are apparently in third. This all might have been true in 2020, but as we end 2025, I don't know. It might not be reflected in consumer numbers just yet, but it's looking an awfully lot like, to me, Google being in the lead. Next, I would of course count the ability to place multiple characters into an image with character consistency as one of the features on this list. But the thing is, that is the very first thing that Google trumpeted. So I want to mention it, but focus more on certain details you might have missed. Just quickly before I do, I will note that I did test this feature and the results as 
you'd expect, are incredible. I just love noodles and Nano Banana Pro was able to take two of them and place them outside this manor. That's my own photo, by the way, although not my own house. On text to image benchmarks for what they're worth, I think the proof is in the pudding, but on such benchmarks, clearly Gemini 3 Pro Image, the official name is far ahead of the others. Those were my impressions, but I'd be curious to know if you think I'm overselling it or underselling it. Either way, I will leave you with this thought. Imagine an image generated by Nano Banana Pro and animated by VO4, potentially coming out by the end of this year. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching to the end and have a wonderful day.